What is going on guys, it's the Nola Hub here back with another video and today I'm going to explain the Taysom Hill contract. Some of you understand it now, some people don't. I just want to make this because a lot of people don't seem to understand it and just look at the outrageous number that was given. But essentially, we're not going to be paying him 95% of that, um, but I'll explain it in a second, but I'll, I sent everyone in a frenzy yesterday laughing. I was like, what the hell is this team doing? when I saw it, but, uh, yeah, but before we start off, uh, Discord link below, um, we almost have 500 subs, so hit that subscribe button so we can do that giveaway, um, let's get into it. Yesterday, Adam Schefter sent the world into a frenzy when he tweeted, Saints are restructuring QB Taysom Hill's contract to create cap room. Details are great. It's a four-year, $140 million contract extension, but all years are voidable, and it's a mechanism to free up cap space this year. Per source, it saves the Saints over $17.5 million in cap this year. So if you don't remember last year, we had that weird uh, that $16 million extension that we gave Taysom last year. Essentially... In order for him to agree to a restructure, we gave him this giant ass contract and this insane bonus um, and put all the money for, that we owed him this year to there. And then basically said, yeah, so here's a massive extension, but all of the years are voidable. So basically, whenever the Saints want, they can cut him. And keep their money, and he will receive not a single penny of that. So I assume you'll see him on the roster this year, and then after this year, he will go bye-bye because he's not going to pay for it. It sounds like he didn't want to do a restructure or something and really wanted his $16 million, and this was the only way. But for Taysom, I don't really get why, I think, but... Or it could have just been a mechanism to free up more cap space than the regular restructure would do. I'm not super great with the financials, but essentially, this is just a giant bonus that Taysom Hill will never receive. It's, yes, a four-year, $140 million contract, but once the Saints say, no, we, we don't want to pay this, they don't face a dime of that. So you'll see him on the team this year, but after that, I am 90% sure that Taysom Hill will be gone after this year. So, what does Taysom's contract look like this year? Adam Schefter tweeted, Taysom's whole contract's numbers this year will include a 9.686 million signing bonus, a 1.439 million guaranteed roster bonus, and a 1.034 million guaranteed base salary. So if you see, we basically converted all of his salary into that future year, and then gave him a huge bonus this year, so it takes it, it somehow works against the cap room. Like I said, I'm not super great with finances and how it works. But essentially, what you have to understand is the Saints don't have to pay him when his contract gets absolutely large. It's not a big cap hit this year. It's probably about a $10 million cap hit, which still is overpaid for a potential backup quarterback. And we can cut him whenever we want and face no penalty. Now... When I first initially saw this, I said, shit, Taysom Hill is our guy. Taysom Hill is the starter of the future. <sighs> shit. But, Ian Rappaport tweeted, From at NFL Network, Saints quarterback Drew Brees has officially retired, but New Orleans has already been working on a deal with Jameis Winston, the likely starter in 2021. Great. 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 I was so happy to see this because, God damn it, I did not want um, Taysom Hill as a starter. I really like Jameis and what he brings to the table. But I also read a conflicting report that says, we will try and sign Jameis, but it's going to be a quarterback battle for the starting role. And I think Jameis will win it. But it's interesting that they're not ready to just give it to him. You know, Sean Payton and his love affair with Taysom Hill. So there is a chance that Taysom Hill starts for us, yes. There is a chance. And uh, I hope we get to see Jameis, but we'll see. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, don't read too much into the details. It was actually a pretty good contract if, that we gave him, because he won't see any of it. But... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, 
hit the subscribe button almost have 500 subs leave a like comment down below uh what else yeah peace